Hello and welcome. I'm Mitsu Piano, and you're watching a thing. What sort of thing is it? It's a thing. It's a cute thing. Because it's a thing with a load screen that goes on kind of long. No, but here it is! Kirby and the Rainbow Curse. I told myself I wasn't going to do anything until ice level month and give myself a break. Yeah, see how long that lasted. And then I got to thinking about Wii U games and how the Wii U has a unique controller. Um, and I told myself, thinking about all that, I should play Kirby and the Rainbow Curse. And here we are. So this game, if you do not know, is controlled entirely through the gamepad touchscreen on the Wii U. Um, you're only seeing the TV, which is fine by me. I'm actually going to be playing this somewhat blind. Not, like, blind in the traditional blind LP sense, since um, clearly I have a 99% file here. But, um... My Wii U screen is actually cracked, and I can only see on part of it. Touch screen still works. That's the important thing. So let's go into story mode. And here on Popstar, it's a beautiful day. Birds are singing, flowers are blooming. On days like this, Kirby's like you should be rolling around at the speed of sound. Also, hi, Bandana D. This game's art style is amazing. Darkness is coming. I mean, it's just not a curvy game unless something like this happens. Paralyzed. Power of Paint brings Star Warriors to life. And also saves cute fairies from spooky hands. Oh no! The apple is dead. This is clearly the greatest tragedy in the world. Kirby does not have food. What sort of heartless monster would do this to an adorable ball? So yeah, simple story, simple game. It's Kirby. It's cute. We're going to be heading to the Green Valley of Greenness. Let us begin our adventure. Now I will note this is in no way going to be a 100% run. Like... I'm going to have a hard enough time playing this game as is, because I usually play it entirely on the touch screen, and now I can't do that because my touch screen's broken. Oh, come on. Get over there. As you can see, we're off to a great start here. But don't, don't worry, I actually do know what I'm doing, I promise. 
Sort of. See, playing this while looking at the TV screen is unfamiliar to me. So we might run into some trouble. I don't really think so. This is a Kirby game that is pretty easy even by Kirby standards. Like, it's simple, it's easy, it's adorable. That's why I wanted to do it in the interim between um, Kingdom Hearts 2 and Ice Level Month. And, ooh, shiny. I guess we don't get the treasures unlocked until, um, oh, hearts, hearts are power, nothingness is eternal. Until, um, what was I saying? I completely forgot. Until the end of the level. Also, what are these blocks? Are they like, okay, they're full flex. Go that way. Yeah, Kirby kind of moves in the direction we draw our line. Is there something over here? Hold on. I, I promise I can actually play this. Aha! Gimme. This way, break some blocks, smash some guys. Those guys are called katas, by the way, because terracotta, because clay. I wonder if any of this was made with actual clay, or if it's just, like, really good rendering. I have no idea. a hundred stars. This gives us fury, destruction, absolute death, and also um, me not drawing my, drawing my line right, because I can't draw. I can color, but I can't draw. Colors have been on my mind a lot lately because of um, because of coloring. And coloring is fun, and playing Kirby games is also fun. And I don't even know what I'm talking about anymore. Also, we got another Star Dash. I think that's what it's called. Ow! Doing it again. I'm looking at the. At the gamepad screen, that is like only half there. Not the actual screen where things can be seen. I think I messed that up, but no worries, we got another one. Wait, wait, wait. The, 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 the. I can't get that now, can I? Can you go down? <sighs> oh well, this is what my arrogance gets me. Oh, there's something up there, and I want it. Oh, hello. Okay, turn around. Up. Oh yeah. There's a ton of stuff up here. Don't mind if I do. No, no. Ugh, I can't draw in the gray spot. I can't get back up there again without another Star Dash. And I missed the treasure. Ugh, life is unfair. Okay, but maybe there's a way to get back there. Maybe there's a way to get enough stars to get back there. <laughs> but yeah, my screen is cracked, and one of the reasons I wanted to let's play this is so I could have something to remember it by. 
I don't want this game to be just a memory. I want it to be an experience I can look back on. Hence me deciding to preserve it through video. Because I can't... Uh, oh, that's, that's a bean. That's food. I want it. Give... Oh, the milk is food, too. Yeah. Paying attention to the wrong screen again. Okay, we got enough stars for the thing. Now, do we go back for that? Up. Down. Get the thing. Oh my gosh, why is it so hard to grab one chest? Thank you. Ugh. All right. It was worth it. Now I mentioned this is not going to be 100% treasures. I just like, like having treasure and I don't like missing it. You know. zone here. I think you can still tap Kirby in the gray zone, and also, what am I doing? There's a can right here. Okay. Now, why do I want to be up here? Oh, that's fine. Okay, let's do that. Go. way off. This is my problem with playing this while looking at the TV screen. It's hard to tell where the heck to draw. But yeah. Okay. Shiny. Now. Yep. Okay, go this way. I'm not even sure what I got there. I think it was food. Okay, I hear that sound. That sound means the goal is here. And I need to tamp the curve. Alright. I want to get the book. Can we get the book? Go. No, no, no. It's not going to work. Need to be faster. Go! Oh! Nowhere near enough! What am I even doing? Got it! Ooh, gold medal. You found a secret diary! What in the world could be written inside? We also got treasure. Got a Kirby. Got a fairy girl. Waddle Dee. And a Kata. Okay. Yeah, let's take a look at our collection. Because we got figurines to look at. Our heroic hero is on a roll. Heroic hero? He's on a mission to restore the color that's been stolen from dear old Dreamland. His preferred mode of travel is Rainbow Rope, and he can transform into three amazing Kirbys. Eileen and... Yeah, this girl's name is Eileen, by the way. And Clacia used to rule this world, but then Clacia went a little cuckoo. Now Aline has teamed up with Kirby to solve the mystery of Clacia's other madness. Aline can draw magical rainbow ropes in the air and transform Kirby, too. So Kirby64, the one everyone loved, had a pair of characters that also everyone loved. Um, Adeline the Artist and Ribbon the Fairy. 
Eileen is kind of a combination of both, and she's also supposed to represent, like, the Wii U stylus, tapping the touch screen to draw, um, lines to move the Kirby. This is red one D. It looks more orange to me. This is Kirby's faithful companion during this adventure. He likes to poke enemies with his trusty sphere, and he can even pick up and throw Kirby. Though, to be honest, he's just happy getting his fair share of the spotlight. Um, unfortunately, we will not be seeing much of you, Waddle because you only appear in co-op mode, and I have no friends to play this with. Sorry. Kata. The first creatures Clacia and Aline made for their new world. Clacia sculpted them out of clay, and Aline painted each one. These little critters aren't very good at fighting, but don't tell them that. And then we have the diary. Nice to meet ya. I made a friend today! His name is Kirby! This guy is called Waddle New buddies are the best! I wanna get diary pages because they are hecking adorable, like most of the rest of the things in this game. Now use amiibos. I do have a Kirby amiibo. Um, we may need to use it at some point. Probably not though. We're not doing challenge mode. No, no, no. I'm being challenged enough as it is. But yeah, there we go. I'm thinking one level a day would be nice. Um, this game isn't that big. So, yeah, that's going to be it for today. Um, yeah, see you tomorrow. More greens.